So on that note, uh, when I reached out to ask you to speak on this, why did this topic resonate with you? I, you know, for me, this resonated because as I thought about the journey, not just that I had a better cloud, but since better cloud now, I've been advising 10 companies. I've invested in about 25 companies. Um, and through that, I've seen this come up over and over and over again. And actually for me, when I went beyond the dashboard is always when I had that aha moment, always in, in like you said, not always in engineering, not always in support, not, but when I went beyond the dashboard, the dashboards plural, you know, and, and the gauges that I looked at for the business, when I, when I went beyond that, there was always this aha moment or this, this unlock that I found. And so when you brought this to me and, and we talked, you know, we know each other for a while now, when you brought it up, I said, yeah, I, I would love to talk about this because I have a lot of stories. And, um, and I think that it's, it's a really important, it's, it's a really important muscle for people to build to go beyond the dashboards. Yeah. And we're going to dig into some of those specific stories today to, sh to really bring what David's speaking to life. Um, but why don't you, yeah, I, this, we're going to go off script on many of these things, but you just alluded to like, uh, when I've seen this before with others, you're advising, how would you describe this? And maybe like, why is this so prevalent? So, I mean, I think, look, we, we definitely, we're in a, a place where when I think about when I started my career 20 years ago, to where we are today, there is the tooling that is available now to be able to measure pretty much anything in your business is it's everywhere, right? We, when I started working, like it was hard to get a view into the business. Now I can have a Tableau dashboard with a, you know, snowflake backend that, the, that I can literally look by the second, what is happening across the business. And so I think we've all gotten really um, reliant on those dashboards and not just reliant, like they are good. Let's be clear, right? It's like having yeah. a Fitbit or an Apple watch or whatever. Like it is good to know what is happening. It is good to have a view of your business because I would say 20 years ago, you're kind of operating blindly. You know, maybe once a quarter, you do the financial, you'd see what's happening. Like now you have that view, but I think we have become over-reliant on it. And I think especially as you move up the ranks within an organization, now you're having the weekly meeting, you look at the dashboards, you talk about why this number went up, went down. You, you, know, you have the board meeting, you talk about why this number went up or went down. You're not really going to that to that next level, and I just so I think that's the reason. That's when I say this: like I'm in these meetings, and they're like, "Hey, Dave, check out our daily dashboard of you know meetings set," and it's like, "Cool, but what's happening underneath?" And and I think we have become over reliant on the dashboards. Yeah, that's exactly our point of view, and it, it's like we went from a world where we had no visibility, or it's very hard to get visibility. But now we've gotten to a world where we're addicted to the visibility and we make the goal becomes the dashboard, then the end customer or the end employee experience. And there's this guy who started a company called Mode and I'm trying to get him on the podcast on this webinar series. He started Mode, which is like a business intelligence tool. They sold it to ThoughtSpot. And he wrote a post the other day called Is Being Data Driven a Fad? And you know, that's controversial and whatnot, but this is a guy who started a Tableau competitor. And even he's come into this point of view of like this fad around being a, being data driven is, is not all what it was cooked up to be. It has value, but we're over relying on 